We can take this ride wherever it goes. As long as you're with me, as long as you're with me, I feel at home. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. I love this. I feel like we we both live in the city, yeah. so it's like when I finally come somewhere like this, I'm like, I'm back in Vancouver! <laughs> Do you want to take a look at the lake first? It looks so pretty. There's people hiking. Oh yeah! Do you hike? No. <laughs> Sometimes you can't even see what's right in front of you. Life gets the best of me, I don't know what to do. I'm still ahead of me and I don't have a Should we sit down? This is so lovely. Okay. So, we're back on the topic of marriage. I actually love that you said you share everything first and foremost with your dad. Yeah. Because I always have the impression that dads are more like, oh, I don't need to know so much about your personal life. Yeah. Too much information, you know? Oh, my dad's like really chill. Aww. Like in a way we're like, we're, I think we're kind of like best friends Aww. in a sense that like, not like the lame kind, but then like I just call him. Like even when I was, yeah. I think sometimes I would like, leave work with a good day or something. I'm like, oh my God, guess what? <gasps> you know, I'm still doing that even that. now. Yeah. Um, when I get, after I've been married, like he's one of the first people that I would call. Yeah. With good news or bad news. That's good. I do feel that no matter how the relationship is in a marriage, there's always going to be a little bit of an imbalance. Do you feel like there's a little bit of that? Or is it like so balanced that you feel? Imbalance as in? As in, I feel that sometimes maybe one person loves the person more. They are uh, more like expressive about that. I think... You know, I used to think that way. Yeah. But now I'm starting to think that it's more like a personality issue uh, rather than uh, an imbalance issue because there are things like, for example, me and you yeah. may be more expressive than our spouse right. just because mm -hmm. we're like that, just yeah. expressive in general about things. Exactly. Um, but it doesn't mean we love them more or love them less. Yeah. Because there are times where they would step up. And then the, there are times where you don't realize yeah. And then you realize, huh, I never knew he would be willing to do that for me. Yeah. And then you think, you know, maybe it's quite balanced. But I don't. I do agree that there are aspects that may be imbalanced or, you know, um, uh, certain things, you know, career is different. So yeah. financially, there may be an imbalance or working ah, hours may be different. I think right. these things are happening because no two person can be exactly contributing exactly the same right, in a household, right? right? Um, some may have to care of kids more than the other person, mm -hmm, but they make more mm -hmm. money, things like that. But I think in general, um, the relationship is pretty balanced. That's good. I would say at least our willingness to balance it out. It's, right. That's the important part. The thing that I've learned is that marriage is like, it's like, you know, a drama. There's, you're not Your actually, marriage is like no, a drama. Not a you're Korean right. drama, though. So <laughs> it's different. Not, not a Korean drama. <laughs> Just a drama. Just a drama. <laughs> but what I mean is like a drama where you're not actually, like marriage is not the ending. It's not like the last episode. I know. Right? So yes. your entire life is the drama running its course. Yeah. So it's not fair to say that on episode one, this is imbalance and this sets the tone for the entire marriage. Right. I don't believe that. So yeah. yes, at this moment, this may be happening. But in that moment, 10 years from now, something else may be happening. Yeah. And I think it's only when you're older and you look back at the entire length of the marriage right. that right. you can actually determine, you know, whether it's been balanced, yeah. whether it's fair and whatnot. I agree. And another thing that I don't know if you've come across, I guess you, you probably have, is the five love languages. Yes. I love that one because... Like I felt like when I understood that, when I understood that different people express, you're yeah. like laughing because no, I'm gonna start to tell you later. But I, I you've been out. Okay, okay, okay. So I feel like when I understood that, oh, different people yeah. express it differently, and then I suddenly understood how, like, where my husband was coming from. Ah. So, so yeah. for people who don't know, okay, five love languages are words of affection, so telling yeah. people how you feel, action, mm -hmm. quality time. Yeah. And then intimacy, physical touch, yes. right? And there was a gift. Gifts, yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, so I want to know yours. All aspects are important, right? Yeah. So like you said, get to understand where he's coming from. You mm. know, like if it's love expression, it's not yeah. as high as you, then don't be afraid to express yourself more because that's just who you are. I think uh, there were times where I'm like, yeah. I'm going to stop expressing because mm. it feels weird that I'm just saying I love you. And he goes, oh, okay, cool. You know? I know. Well, he doesn't do that. But then, like, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I do. You know what I, I do, mean? I do, I do. After I do. a while, you're like, should I just stop? Because yeah. it makes me feel stupid. If they're not reciprocating. Exactly. But right. then at the end of the day, I realize, you know, I say it because 
I want to say it. Right. And then he receives it, mm -hmm. but he just doesn't express exactly the same way. Yeah. And that's and so the that's whole okay. thing about expectations. Exactly. As well. Exactly. I hear a lot of couples, yeah. what they say is after they've been married or dating for a long time, they kind of lose the... Um, you know, the basic manner slash respect aspect. You know, they think yeah. it's not necessary to say good morning and good night and I love you and thank you. And right. How are, how are you? You know, like these are things that I think after a while people just stop. Yeah. Like you cook dinner and you just eat. Yeah. Right. But I, and I appreciate that when he goes, oh, thanks for cooking. Yeah. You know, like it's and just it's simple. Exactly. Right? Or, yeah. you know, like he leaves and I'm like, oh, drive safe. You know, these are things that I think it's nice. Or when you do something for him, like, oh, yeah. I'm going to go get milk. Okay, thanks. Yeah. You know, it feels nice, and I think it's good to keep that. Otherwise, after a while, you just take each other for granted. Keeps the marriage. Yeah. It's almost like it keeps the marriage, like, fresh. fresh. And so lovely as it was when you were dating. dating. Like yeah, you, you don't, said. like, kind of fall into a trap where mm -hmm. now that we're married, nothing matters. Yeah. And now, are we going to our truth? Are there? <laughs> you're That's the first scary. person to. Oh my god! You're scared. Do you want a drink first? Let's <clears throat> let's calm our nerves. Here we are. Nervous. This is. Actually, the first time I'm seeing this um, in real life, we especially made it for the show. So easy, spin the bottle, and then whatever it lands on, we're going to pull out that question, and then you're going to either choose to answer the question, honestly, okay. or drink this special concoction. I call it my love potion. This looks terrible. Do you want to know what's in this one? Yes. Before we start? Okay. There's lemon juice, clearly, vinegar, balsamic vinegar, gin, and ketchup. Mm. Huh. Could be tasty. Well, actually, okay, because I thought that was like chili I, sauce. I feel like we need to add some So maybe chili now sauce. that it's ketchup. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we'll it's think actually about, not that we'll bad. Think about it. This we'll think is about not it. gross enough, you guys. She's Love is it. supposed to be sweet. It's so. bittersweet. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there also is an option that if it gets spin again for Grace, that means I have to answer whatever you spin on. Okay. The next All round. Right. Oh, this is exciting. Let's just take Can I choose out. to only get this? No. Everything else I'll just drink. Okay. <laughs> you ready for this? Okay. Okay, let's go. Yeesh! Is there any that you don't want to get like really bad? I just really want the spin again for Grace. No, 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 no. I have no, a good no, feeling no. about. Oh, I need to pull oh, it down. Oh, 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 okay. You know what? She she did say that family matters was not does, a bad one. Yeah. Imagine okay. if it just went slightly this way. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Okay. What is your family's biggest secret that something that nobody outside the family knows? Family isn't like parents' family or like husband and wife family. Uh, let's do your like family, family, my like family. your your parents. Um, that uh, my dad gave me a nickname when I was younger. Okay. Um, it's in Chinese. So can I say it? Yeah. So my dad, well, my parents called me Dai Gao. So yeah, I know, right? It's terrible. That's. Oh, Thanks, mom and endearing. dad. Yeah, because um, I was like a big kid. Oh. And then every time I would get sick, yeah. I'd be like, oh, that goes so. And then I'd be like, oh, I'm next time, is you? And so that's what, and that's what my parents would call me. <laughs> so that was cute. my nickname, and which only my parents would call me. Actually, only my dad. Okay, final question that okay. we're going to ask every guest on this show All is right. Do you remember the first time that you said, I love you to someone? And meant it, okay? Not okay. just, I love you. Um, I think it may be with, like, Justin, which is um, my husband now. Okay. I remember it being, I think we were on a beach or something. And then I think he said it first. And then he's like, oh, are you ready? I'm going to say something that's really hard for me. And then he said it. And then I just said it. Um, I think... That was the first time I said it and meant it because I thought it was romantic that he would, you wow. know, lead you up to it, you know. Right. And then for me, it was kind of natural. Yeah, wow. so I, I love I think that. Was, to sit you down. He's like, oh, I'm gonna say something because especially in like um, overseas, oh, yeah, like yeah, in yeah. Canada or the states, growing up, like if you watch enough TV, then you realize this is something that's it's common, kind of common. But then they also make a big deal about it. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. And so that's the first time. <gasps> thank you so much for being oh, on the so show. This was really fun. And thank you everyone for watching the first episode of Love Matters with Grace. Cheers. I'm quite curious. Drink it.
This is terrible. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> and I feel so bad about this. I'm not wearing my wedding ring. <laughs> we watch completely different shows. Oh really? He's like very about like Game of Thrones and I'm all about like my like Bridgerton. No, I'm oh. <laughs> Bridgerton. <laughs> Lies. <laughs>